on, right? Especially when it's true. Well, we've got an inspiring, an inspiring one for you tonight. Throughout his life, Kane Green has worn many hats. Cab driver, boxer, teacher, lawyer, and it all started right here in Chicago. In his memoir, I'm from Division Street, Green describes his rough upbringing in Humboldt Park and how that helped motivate him to succeed in life. Ken Green joins us now. So what inspired you to write this book? Why did you want to do this? Well, Marion, after my mother died, I was looking through her belongings, her scrapbooks, memorabilia, old newspaper articles, and I was stunned to learn how many famous people lived on my street, Division Street. For example, Barney Ross, the great boxer, Benny Goodman, the renowned band leader, ah. uh, uh, Pulitzer Prize winning author Studs Terkel, Saul mm -hmm. Bellow, uh, Jules Stein established the Jules Stein Eye Clinic at UCLA. Uh, ben Heck, the famous uh, director. Carl Foreman, producer, goes on and on. Sure. And I was, I was stunned because they were Jewish people. Their parents came from Eastern Europe with no money and no education. And I thought to myself, what is there about this street, this neighborhood that produced such greatness? And so I decided I want to write a book and pay tribute to these people. In addition to that, I grew up with guys that came from very humble beginnings, and they became enormous successes. And so I told my wife, I said, you know, I'm getting older, and I want to write this stuff down. Maybe, and it was, there was still another reason. I wanted to motivate young kids who lack self-esteem. I was thrown out of high school. I don't know why. I hated school. Ah. Every week, every Monday or Friday was a holiday for me. <laughs> I wasn't a, a bad bit. kid, but I played hooky. Uh -huh. And so eventually I got thrown out, and I was humiliated. And my permit was revoked. I lived in Humboldt Park. I was going to Roosevelt High School in Albany uh -huh. Park. Uh -huh. And I had to go to Thule, tough school. I was so depressed, Mary, and I called my principal at, at, at Roosevelt after about a half a year. I said, please take me back. He said, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you can maintain a B average, stop playing hooky. Um, he said, go to school every day, I'll take you back, and he did. My grades were so bad, I graduated second to the last of my class because I never went to summer school. And so I graduated, it took me four and a half years. Still, you did it. I so did what it. was it about Humboldt Park specifically, do you think, that inspired you? You know, we had a rule in it where I grew up, don't wear short pants and don't bring books home from school. Well, I was a dummy, and I followed those rules. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I grew up with tough guys. Most of them didn't think about college. And so, after I finally graduated, after four and a half years, my best friend said, let's join the Army. And I did. I went to Korea. He went to uh, uh, Texas. He got out on a psychiatric discharge. I came home from Korea, Mary, and I was 20 years old. My father came from Poland, and he spoke broken English. And he took me in the bedroom, and he closed the door, and he spoke to me in Yiddish. The words were, mein Sohn, was will der ton mit dein Leben? It means, what are you going to do with your life? I said, Dad, I want to be what you are, a house painter. I'll never forget the words. He said, no, nah, no, nah, you can do better. Be a lawyer. I said, I can't. I got thrown out of high school. I never read a book to, to, in my life. And yet you did. You became a boxer, a teacher, a lawyer. You had a list of jobs a mile long. Why the law, quickly? My father told me that's what he wants me to do, and I did what he told me. <laughs> I always wanted to be a lawyer. It was a dream. I didn't think I could do it. And so we were poor, and I drove a taxi cab, and I went to Roosevelt University part-time. I finally got my bachelor's degree. By then, I moved to Los Angeles. I became a lawyer. I joined the Los Angeles Public Defender's Office. I worked my way up to chief, supervised 400 lawyers. I became an adjunct professor at UCLA. I'm enshrined in the California Boxing Hall of Fame. I'm an amateur boxer. You've done it all, man. And I became a cop. He, he, I, what has he not done? And, and he has a condo here in Chicago because he can't stay away. Well, even in the winter. Marion, my <laughs> wife and I come here every two months. It's in my blood. And the first thing I do, I drive down Division Street. Good for you. Thanks so much, Kim, for coming in and sharing your story. I'm honored. All right. Appreciate you. Thank you.